Leukemia and lymphoma are both blood cancers. And when we say blood cancers, there's many different parts to the blood, in particular in lymphocytes. And so when there's a cancer of the immune cell of a lymphocyte, that can ultimately manifest as something called lymphoma. Now, when we say lymphoma, there are many different sub subtypes to it. In fact, under our most recent classification, there are over 90 different subtypes of lymphoma. When we talk about the leukemias, those can also be of the lymphoid cell, and there are a few different types and classifications when we think about leukemias. We put them in categories called acute or chronic, and as a word might sound, acute tends to be a little faster growing, and you have to treat that typically with stronger therapy. And then there's chronic, which tend to be a little slower growing, but at some point usually need therapy with different treatments, although usually not as strong or intensive therapy. The diagnosis of lymphoma or leukemia is one that really relies on the expertise of our pathologist. Now, in terms of how a patient presents with symptoms, it can be somewhat variable. It often depends on where the leukemia or lymphoma is manifesting in the body. Sometimes, especially with the leukemias, it tends to be more inside the bones, or in other words, in the bone marrow. And when it accumulates inside the bone marrow, some of our normal cells get suppressed, like red blood cells that give us energy, platelets that stop bleeding, or the normal white blood cells that fight infection. So sometimes you patients can have fatigue or infection or bleeding, and that's the first time that uh, a symptom or at least a suspicion will come about. Now ultimately, uh, there needs to be a biopsy done, and in the case of le leukemia, sometimes it can be done through a blood test, special blood tests, and sometimes a bone marrow biopsy is warranted to make the diagnosis. Lymphoma can also occur inside the bones or the bone marrow, but it also can manifest with uh, lymph node enlargement. We all have hundreds of small lymph nodes throughout the body as our immune infection centers. Sometimes those can grow and you, they can be noticeable. Sometimes they are painless, not necessarily painful, but it can be asymptomatic lymph node enlargement. And sometimes that can be the initial symptom. With respect to what causes leukemia or lymphoma, the quick answer is we don't know. Now with that said, there's a lot of research that has been done and is being done to try to figure that out. There really hasn't been a genetic link that we have found, a smoking gun, so to speak. It's probably gonna be a host of different exposures in life, uh, whether chemicals, viruses, bacteria, other contacts, and then maybe that in combination with some form of a, a genetic predisposition can cause it to manifest as we grow older. But it's really important research that needs to be done.